Now, finally, let's look at uh, the Nairobian, which is a weekly uh, paper which gives you uh, stories. But this particular one is mm. rather interesting because it is an exclusive uh, of a story from one Rosalind Akombe, who, of course, has been on the headlines now for the last few days mm. for reasons known to all Kenyans, and sure. that is because mm. of her resignation. Mm. And she says, I don't fear death. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Akombe. And well, well, the, one of the questions I asked her <laughs> the, uh, just after she resigned mm -hmm. and uh, sent the statement mm -hmm. is whether she felt she had left. One of the reasons that she had given in her statement is mm -hmm. the fact that she felt that some I of her officers were unsafe mm -hmm. and were risking their lives. Mm -hmm. However, she has a choice. Yep. She has dual citizenship in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, she had taken a sabbatical at a place of work, so maybe she can walk, still mm -hmm. go back to work Absolutely. and continue working. But what about the other officers who are here? But according to this, yeah. apparently she's not afraid of death. I think, I think that's not a genuine statement from her, if it's coming from her, mm -hmm. because, of course, everybody fears death. And uh, if you, you are being told that that is uh, knocking, it's just uh, negotiating the last corner to come and hit you. Mike, you'll be the fastest person on earth as we are talking today. So everybody fears death. And uh, the circumstances under which she left, of course, are very, very unclear owing to the fact that initially she had actually indicated that uh, she had some intention of leaving this country. Mm. After, uh, of course, uh, she w we all know that she was bad at the airport. And I think uh, she has always been looking for that opportunity, that avenue where she could actually get that uh, opportunity to leave this country. And of course, uh, Lady Luck knocked uh, through that uh, trip to Dubai to verify the process uh, in terms of uh, how things are going in terms of the uh, printing of the papers. And uh, I think... Uh, of course, the sec security of every commissioner owing to Msando's case is very paramount. Mm. This is not something that uh, actually can be ignored. And this is a wake-up call, of course, to ensure that uh, the security of the members of the commissioner is reinforced. And, uh, of course, uh, to a situation where they are able to operate without uh, this kind of intimidation. So, although these intimidations will always be there, but the most important is actually their security being reinforced somewhat. And, uh, of course, you can see whatever she said uh, that uh, all is not gross, all is not well within the commission, of course, is not something that can be, you know, put under the shelf because she raised genuine fundamental issues that need some redress. Of course, when she talks about, uh, you know, the IBC not able to give credible election of, and the same sentiments being echoed by his by our boss, mm. of course, there's something that need to send some shivers within our spines because if the chair, the person, Mike, whom we have taxed, constitutionally speaking, with the role of ensuring that we have free and credible elections, not even guaranteeing the same, then we should be very, very afraid, Mike. Yeah, wondering how mm. that is going to play out. So <laughs> please do get yourself a copy mm. of the Nairobian. And of course, today being uh, Mashuja Day, many of us would probably not be going to work, so you'll maybe have some time where you can go through the Nairobian and, uh, well, if they want